Families carry trauma throughout their lives and they pass it on to their children and unfortunately it then gets passed on to their children. And so every child that you're able to help you're minimizing that. Traditionally, we've always thought when we see a kid, what's wrong with you? And the shift of thinking at KBC, um, which I think is amazing, is what happened to you. Trauma um, affects children differently. It's a hard term to define, but it's something that impacts a child that means their behaviors change because of it. All children react very differently to different traumas, just like people do. These kids with trauma, it reacts the same way that they see that a soldier's brain reacts to, um, that has had PTSD. The brain is basically a mirror of the environment that the child has been in. The other thing is trauma is a difficult topic to talk about. It's painful, it's scary, it's hurtful, and so one of the complicating factors from trauma is that people who've experienced trauma tend to want to avoid it. Well, these kids, the person that was supposed to be nurturing them, to trust them, um, that they were sexually molested by them, they were physically abused by them, they saw these people who were supposed to nurture them um, getting drugs or taken away by the police or taken away from the home or being neglected in somehow. And so, um, so when they see an authority figure, um, they're not going to react the same way because their authority figure never gave them the, the nurturing and the trusting environment that each kid deserves. And so one of the things that we say is it's not a behavior problem, it's a brain problem. They behave differently because their brain is functioning differently. Over 50% of the people in the general population have had their own trauma experience and so it doesn't necessarily get the attention that it deserves because it's a difficult topic to talk about. We work a lot with kids who have different levels of trauma um, and it's important for all of our staff to be trauma informed as well as our foster parents to also be trauma informed so that we can help kids during the healing process. Because mental health is never just a patient illness, it's a family illness. We need to start working when the children are young to help prevent trauma, to help strengthen families, strengthen um, parents to be their child's best teacher so then when they those kids grow up they can raise their kids in a better way. KVC's message is, let's get involved, because children and young people and their lives should matter to all of us. And we are all responsible for these kids, not just, not just DCF, not just KVC, but we are as a population and society. When they fi finally buy into the tools and have that toolbox for life that they can pick from and use, then they can go about the healing process. We're living the dream. Every day we're out there fighting and advocating for the children that are in need. 